Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get a really good picture of your drawing and bring it into the program and begin to get started. So once you get the picture in, you need to set it to be the top layer. And the top layer that is the picture needs to be set on multiply. After that, you're going to go under that layer with the new layer and begin putting in the base colors. In this next part, I'm going to start laying down my darker values. I normally put the darker value behind the head, around the buns, over the eyes, below the mask, and in the crevices of the shirt. When you're doing this, you want to set your layer above the base layer, and you also want to set the layer to multiply, so it will show off the darker value. Also, while I'm putting in the darker values, for the more intricate darker values, I went in with my watercolor brush tool in this program. It's definitely, I think, my favorite tool because I use it for the better portion of my drawings. Although most of my recent ones haven't been using the watercolor brush tool, this is really good for getting in soft values and things like that. And good for like final touches to really, really, really intricate details. So I recommend using it if you're using Autodesk, but if not, I'm pretty sure there's a watercolor-ish similar tool in other programs as well. I'm about to start putting in my lighter values. So I think I'm a little bit too harsh on that highlight in the first try. So I went in and started blocking the highlights on the skin with not so much of a brighter color. Um, I wanted her undertones to be a little bit redder or orangish, so I made it a point to not use such bright highlights. But as I was doing the darker layers, I just went in and blocked in the highlights and smudged them in using the smudge tool. And I'm going to be doing that repetitively. And just like I did with the darker values, later on if there's a highlight or a detail that I need to go over that's a little bit softer or to add a bit more intricate, I will use the watercolor brush tool. Um, and being sure to hit those details as well. Also while working on the highlights, you wanna set your layer of the screen. I forgot to say that. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and merge the layers together. So I'm going to merge a multiply layer into my base colors. And then when those are merged, you wanna merge your screen layer into that layer. Then there should be two. Your image above the colors. Now I'm going in with my watercolor brush and I'm doing small details to fix what I feel like it was a mistake or a mess up and I'm using my smudging tool to put things together and smudge them up well they need to be if there's anything else I feel that is not right in the drawing I'll probably go behind it and fix it like fix the darker shadows but all the blending layers should be put together into the base layer I put words in the name for my layer instead of letting it be layer one two and three it's just because I don't want to forget which one I work on. I want to make sure I'm paying attention to what I'm actually doing. This drawing isn't complete though. There's still more we need to do. This is my favorite part, which is adding a gradient to my drawings just to give it a little bit more depth, a little bit more color. Um, it's nice to have everything painted correctly, but it's also fun to add things to make your drawings stick out. Stick out. I always go above my colored layer with these and I just play with the blending settings on the layers to see what really give a good effect and make it pop. To make it look different from the drawing to give it just a little bit, you know, individualism. There are many blending layers you can play with on digital programs, such as Autodesk, Clip Studio, Krita, whatever, whichever one is your favorite or your fancy, whatever you prefer to do. And I think you should always try to experiment with those to try to give your drawings a different personality to make them stick out more like I've already said. And as you can see right now, I'm just going above and I'm doing a white outline to kind of clean up the, I guess, specs on the outside. 
from color rejection, which is basically my bare hand of pen working at the same time. So yeah, um, I just wanted to make this tutorial, which this is the final step right here. And this is a choice if you want to, but I go above the drawing and I do white lines to make the drawing stick out off the paper. But yeah, this was the ending of the tutorial. If you enjoyed it, uh, follow me uh, and comment and tell me that you liked it or not. But then again, have a great day. Be safe, be blessed. Go on and do what you're going to do. Bye.